All right, let's talk about the baby daddies. This is the woman that says it's great being a single mother. She says great to be a, there's a lot of pros. Side of the family. Yeah, his raggedy ass family. Yeah, raggedy ass. And this is strictly about the deadbeats or the trifling baby daddies. Not y'all baby daddies that's active. If you're a trifling ass baby daddy, then this is for you. The reason why that motherfucker is the way he is, because you you got to know that the apple do not fall too far from the tree, baby. <laughs> that shit stems from somewhere. And I know a lot of y'all going to be like, uh-uh, you know, people people grow up and they just go their own way. He probably wasn't even raised that way. No, 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 no. See, a lot of these baby daddies, they sisters, it'd be, it be like some incest shit going on, especially with their raggedy-ass sisters. The sisters be acting like they want to fuck their brothers they don't hold the motherfuckers accountable you could be telling her he beat my ass every motherfucker day she gonna be like girl my brother would never do that or shit i don't know what to tell you girl i don't, I don't know what to tell you maybe you should stick with him maybe you shouldn't do nothing to make him mad when i put my my baby daddy on fucking child support why his sister try to say yeah you ain't gonna get nothing but ten dollars a month and when he die None of his kids gonna get nothing but a t-shirt. Like, bitch, excuse me. It's given I want to fuck my brother because why are you going so hard behind a deadbeat? You know he a deadbeat. We all know he a motherfucking deadbeat. But you're trying to take up for him. Oh, he used to do for his other kids. I don't give a fuck what he used to do. What he's doing right now, he's not taking care of our daughter. So he's a motherfucking deadbeat. And you sitting up here condoning that shit, thinking that shit cute. Making jokes, talking about his kids ain't gonna get nothing when he died. How was that funny, bitch? It's just crazy, like, niggas that be deadbeats or absent, you you really start to see, like, the reason why he is the way he, the, the reason why he is the way he is is because nobody around him holds, holds him accountable. Not his friends, not his... A single mother talking about accountability. Can't make this stuff up. A single mother talking about accountability. Family, the motherfuckers think that shit be cute. I don't know what they be thinking. They turn a blind eye to it. That's how I feel about it. They just turn a blind eye to it like they don't see it. Even the family members be playing favorites. Let's say, for instance, he got a lot of kids and he only taking care of a select few of, of the kids. Guess what? The family is on board with it, too. They're not going to fuck with your kid either. They're going to fuck with the other kids simply because he's not fucking with you and he's not fucking with your kid. That's the, shit I be, that's the weird shit I be talking about that some of these baby daddy families be on. And don't let me get started on the motherfucking mammy. They motherfucking trifling ass mammies. It be the mamas for me acting like they son can't do nothing wrong. You tell them about they son, how they son not getting they, they kid or they kids. They act like he can't do nothing wrong. They all on his side. That's why for my girlies, don't be friend his family. Okay. Don't be friend his family. Don't be in their face. Because trust me, when you're not around, the motherfuckers be talking about you like a motherfucking dog. They don't like you for real. They like whoever he's fucking with at that time. Trust me. Because when he done with you, they're going to be kick, 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 in the next bitch face. Trust me. You never trust these motherfuckers' family members. Because they're going to always side with him. That's something I had to learn. That's his blood. They always going to side with him. Maybe daddy's family members be a motherfucking trip whole family be dead beats just like him and you decide to give him a child i don't understand you gave him a child and one of the dumbest arguments she presented was the fact that the family are sticking beside their son like that that, that was the she has a child she has the dumbest argument she says you know if um they're always gonna side with their son before there's a side with a stranger yes that's what typically families do. If it's a rational family, they stick beside each other. That's the dumbest argument she presented throughout this whole little rant she went on. You know, they're picking him. His sister's down for him. His mom is down for him. His whole family only likes him. I mean, likes you when you're with him. Yes. Any girl that my little brother dates, I was only cool with her as long as my brother was associated with her. Once that woman don't associate with my brother, I don't know her. I didn't know you before. And the only reason I know you is by association because my brother. Once he don't mess with you, I don't mess with you. You're not part of the family. That's literally how it works. If my sister got married, 
that man, I'm only cool with you as long as you are my sister. The minute my sister said, you are gone, my boy, you was never close to me. I have no attachment to you. Go on about your life. I don't got to say, hey, what's up? How's it been going? I don't care. I'm only messing with you because my family's cool with you. That's literally how it goes. It's called a family for a reason. You're not part of it. You're not part of it. <laughs> so I don't get, and she has a child. That's the crazy thing. She's making it seem like if her child dates whoever they dates, she's going to stay close with that individual no matter what. No, you're not. You're only close with that individual as long as your child associate with that individual. She's so mad about the baby daddy, she can't think straight. Oh, he must be sleeping with his sister because he's out. his sister's always defending him. Who was she supposed to defend? It's her brother. Who else she's supposed, she's supposed to defend you? She's supposed to defend you? You have no ties to her. No ties to this woman. And this is the woman that said there's a lot of pros to being a single mother. She didn't name not one pro that made sense to me. She did not name one pro that made sense to me. And then she, another dumb argument. If he have a lot of kids, he won't care about the kid. Why would you give him a child if he have a lot of kids? Clearly, you see he's irresponsible. Why would you give him a child if you know he had a lot of kids? The craziest thing nowadays, I'll be seeing people like, guys be telling me I have five or six kids. And I'll be like, you have five or six kids? Like, all from one woman? No, from six women. And I'm like, how does... And I be looking at this guy like, you don't make no money. You are, you don't, not, the guys that have multiple kids with multiple women don't have nothing going on with their lives. I need y'all to pay attention. The guys that have multiple baby mamas, multiple kids with them, they don't have nothing going on. If you speak to them, it hurts your brain trying to process what made these women lay in bed with you and say, I'm giving you a child. It hurt me when I was talking to the guy because I was just so confused. I'm like, there was no green flag with this guy. There's no flag. I'd be like, okay, my daughter or my sister could date a guy like this. It was nothing but red flags. He has no purpose, no ambition, nothing going on in his life. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. For some odd reason, that man walks this planet with six baby mamas. Six. Not one, not two, six. And somehow, some way, all of them are still in the dating pool. He's dating, she's dating, they're all dating because they're not together. So a whole bunch of BS in the dating pool. They be like, how does if you collect that that many baby mamas, my guy, go home, take your girls, and go live your life. Y'all shouldn't still be out here dating. And it, it hurts my brain because I be wondering, how do women just keep doing this? Women don't take dating serious. Women don't take dating serious. The amount of women that you see that out here popping out kids with guys that shouldn't then tell you, oh, I have standards. You shouldn't have standards. Look at your baby daddy. That's as high as you can go with your standards. I want y'all to make eye contact with women. Look at your baby daddy. The man that you gave the ultimate prize to, a child, is not easy to bring forth a child into this world. It's a painful process for women. Life-threatening. You can only go as high as your baby daddy. So if a woman say, I have standards, I have morals, whoever your baby daddy was, that's as high as your standards should go. Well, he didn't have a job, he didn't have a car. That's your standards. That's your standards. If you meet a man with a car and he got his life together, you're overachieving. Every one of you single mother, if you meet a man with a car and he got his life together, he got, he got a job, you're overachieving. Your standard is your baby daddy. Ladies, your standard is your baby daddy. When you meet another man, remember, your standard is your baby daddy. You don't go over your baby dad. If, if somehow a man want to give you a chance to treat him with the utmost respect because you're overachieving. But I shouldn't sit here and be like, oh, you know, no, 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 no. Your baby dad is your standard. And these women be having it. Like I said, women pick the worst type of guys to give kids to. 
Standards increase again. Make the worst decisions. Standard increase again. Get older. Standard increase again. I, oh, there's a lot of pros to be a single mom. Where? Where's the pros? Where's the pros? She, she, every single one of her arguments was just made out of emotion and anger, and none of them made sense. She hates the man, but she gave him a child. She hates the man. Lady, there's a plan B and there's abortion. I don't condone the, the abortion part, but there's a plan B. In worst case scenario, if you believe he doesn't deserve a child, take care of it. But if you're going to sit here and give him a child in a way that's your standard, you should go ahead. Make it work with your baby daddy. Go beg and plead. Do whatever he needs you to do. You know, get done with the relationship. Go beg. Go back to the man. Go back to the man. Y'all sit here. Y'all pick the wrong guy. Then y'all want to come back and ask for a better man. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. Go be with your baby daddy. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm not doing.